Sorry. No, 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 no. Why, why, why? <laughs> this morning I woke up to a text from my mom that said, hang in there, girls. I'm so sorry about the results of this election. And it makes me cry because I can't imagine being a mom and having to text your daughters that. <laughs> it's so fucked up. I am so frustrated. How are you feeling today? It must be horrible. quite difficult for you. It's to horrible. Be here. Yeah. America has decided not. Everything has been laid out. The people have decided. Good luck to you all. Watching Whoopi Goldberg almost shed tears brought a sense of joy to my soul. I never thought I'd see the day when Whoopi would be put in her place. She and her friends seemed to think we were ignorant, believing they could manipulate us into supporting their agenda. But the American people said, no. We are sensible individuals who choose to vote against this nonsense and bring sanity back to our country. One thing I want us to recognize is how much our education system has failed us. When people come online and cry over things that make no sense, it speaks volumes about the lack of critical thinking skills in our society. Too many people rely on what others say without researching for themselves. We often don't think independently or question what we're told. We're quick to accept, believe, and move on, without digging deeper or analyzing from different perspectives. Where is the urge to research and question what we hear? I'm just grateful that America chose to do the right thing. People didn't let emotions or feelings drive their decisions. Instead, they prioritized what's best for everyone. Some may claim that America is regressing or heading for disaster, but that's just an opinion. As long as we have a safe, truthful, and integrity-driven society, I'm content. It's not about satisfying the needs of one group while neglecting everyone else's. We need to meet in the middle find what's important for everyone, and focus on that.